wins first place. Houston Cougars, 31 wins on the season. Finished the regular season number two in the AP poll. And Sharp buries another triple. He's not getting enough attention right now on the offensive end. Radford bottles up, gets it back, and he cleans it up. One thing Kelvin Sampson touched on about this Texas A&M team, he said the one thing is different, they, they know what they want to do and how they want to play offensively. They've got a plan. Obasik, he's going to reset. Taylor. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that, too. Shed. Off to the Obasik. Cryer is there. Is his first and the fifth team foul against the Cougars. Here comes Rashford with hesitation and he lays it up and in. Well, you got to remember that he's a lefty. I know that's simple, but Dunn came out first time on the floor, forced him to the right, even though he had Rashford has one of the best spins from the right to left. I'm sure we'll see that at some point. Roberts boy, pretty drop step and he goes glass. Aggies one and done as Houston keeps him off the offensive glass. Damian Dunn has checked into the game. This is Shed. Wilson out front. This is Sharp. Back to Shed. The fake. Two to shoot. Wilson will let it rip. And they missed. Pretty good execution, though, by Houston. They used that clock and not rush to a four shot. Garcia on the box. Obasik, he's slinging it. Splash! Obasik, he's shooting it at a plus 50% clip. In his last seven starts, and he's picked up where he's left off. Shed going high off glass. A little bit short, fight for it, and Sharp clears. You have to continue to read Texas A&M's defense. Look at Woo! Shed. Oh, oh handle. That's going to get a goal ten. Boy, that was easy. You mentioned some of the, the thinness that they have with their front court. Huge loss of Joseph Tugler. Beautiful pass here. Garcia. Series of fakes. Eight or ten, he might go to him, but I think he'll want to save him for the second half. Francis has been on the bench for the last five minutes of game action. This is Wilson. They leave him open, and he hits. Big shot for the Cougars. Told you about that shin injury. Shed's going to fire. Back of the rim, no. Long rebound, Cryer elevates and hits baseline. Houston has scored seven straight. This is Washington down to the box. Tough pass to Garcia, 10 to shoot, little backdoor hit, oh. corner! And a cleverness to that kid Garcia's game. See the way they're trying to get Shed to go along the baseline. Oh. Oh. Deep shot for Houston! Emmanuel Sharp! Look at this full court action on Shed from Washington. Here comes the ball! Oh. Oh. Washington swallowed him up! Wow, he went right by him initially, but Washington really put the Jets on. There we go. Bradford slicing through the teeth of the defense. Big basket for the Aggies. Dryers pass stolen. It's Radford. A foot race to the rock, and he lays it up and in. He's so good at getting out in the open. Well watch the way he hangs in the air up there delays and then finishes that off of where they are on the scoreboard they're making a little run right now so make sure you get a good shot Radford has come alive he's got a team high 10 points here he comes five to shoot his pass deflected nice interior defense that is by that. Francis they read the spin oh nice walk Wilson off the deflection kick sharp left open he is cash money in this opening half from the Houston side though watch the puck over here on this side of the floor, and the diagonal pass comes his way. And Sharp. And 2019 is on the floor now for the Aggies. And Hepner, 63, has sent his shots at threes. Obasiki has to hurry. Two to shoot. Fires, no. Another offensive rebound. Garcia relentless on the glass. Hepner to the set up. Garcia gets it back, and he's headed to the line. Look at him go after the ball. This time he knows he can grab it. What does he do? He feeds it to the middle of the floor, and they feed it right back. And this is some finish underneath to get to the ground. Here's Gunn. The Temple transfer calmly does it on that baseline. They initially didn't fit in early on in the season, but started to work his way back. Oh, Benson King working hard. Remember, depleted up front. Look at the way they help out on the pick and rolls. They weren't going to run that many of them, Houston, but they are. 
Squire thought about it. This is Shed knifing in. A leaner, tough shot from a tough kid. And Spear, I'm going down the stat sheet too. And you look at the star, you know, the people on the Houston team. You know, there's one, two, three guys, four guys with two fouls or more, including Francis's three. So fouls are really mounting up. Here comes Shed, and he takes contact. Concentration to finish it off. Watch after he gets hit. He starts to fall out of bounds right there towards the right. You don't really see that too often with them. Nice pick to the middle. Underneath, Coleman off the <laughs> Somehow gets it to drop. And Houston usually plays that man-to-man -man all the time. Shed. Ah. He's just too good. 11 points, 5 of 10 from the floor. Second Cougar in double figures. Oh, that's the key! Throwing a haymaker! Beautifully executed, and watch this one, baby. Obasaki finishing it off. And looking to try to get this ball out of Shed's hands. Good ball movement by the Cougars. This is done. Chisels into the paint, and he puts it down. Look at that number. 29 combined field goals and just three turnovers in the first half. Boy, the flick! <laughs> Redford! They have 11 now, and they average 17, so they're nearing that average, and Houston's got to do a much better job of keeping them away from it. LJ Cryer, the Baylor transfer, gets the Cougars on the board. Keep in mind, Wade Taylor, the number one scorer, is 0 for 7. He's got one point, if you've just joined us. Cryer! And he buries a three! Anderson Garcia comes up with it. Here comes Taylor. They desperately need him to get going. And finally, their star has his first basket of the night. Taylor just blew right by him as they shift back into a zone right now. Taylor, the junior from Dallas. Here's Cryer. Finds the lace and splash. Teeth nationally in made threes this season. He scored their last eight. This is a deep three. Carter, deep shot for the Aggies. It's like a 2-3 look. And now it's back to a, like a matchup. Boy, Sharp with the physical defense right in his chest. Let's see if Taylor can get streaky. There you go. <laughs> back into his zone right now. Middle of the floor is wide open again. No flashes, no. Shed the bounce into the corner. Cryer, little bump, and he sticks it again. Pretty good matchup here for Shed to go by. Hand off Roberts extends and puts it down. And Houston has its biggest lead. So here's Obasaki, 4 of 10 shooting. Crossover dribble. Here he comes to the rack. Full extension. Big basket for the Aggies. Really put a wrench in his season. But boy, as he put it together on the biggest stage. Francis on the catch extends. Oh. <laughs> Shed making it happen. Watch the left side. Ball bounces. Pretty neat for a six. Jamal Shed making his own March Madness. Great defensive effort by Houston down low. He was a freshman back in 21. He's trying to do what no player has ever done in the history of the sport. Win it with two different schools. That is a massive three for Washington at AM. Wade Taylor, by the way, is now one for seven from three. Roberts turns the corner, leans in, and he goes off glass. So we're off to the races that you just touched on. Six-point game. Cryer is going to feed the high post. Roberts attacks over two. What a shot. Run up to a double team right here, and he still reacts. It goes right over Garcia to finish it off. But he made One or two times down the floor, you may want to call Taylor's name for Texas A&M and see if he can bury something. You're going to need him active. This is Cryer, elevates, big shot for Houston. Who's going to get a hot hand for Texas A&M? Because they have to find somebody to get something to go down. Radford, massive shot for the Aggies. Instead of bringing in Lott, there you go. They go with Wilson up front with Roberts. So Radford to the cup, smart. big sequence. Real smart, not only that drive, but the entry pass. Get Radford will be the inbound. There you go. Boy, Washington sneaks in for the open layup. That's just giving them a freebie right there. Free line. Double bonus for both teams from here on out. Two free throws. Nobody home at all there. Breakdown. Not a the Aggies bench. The officials make the call. 
Taylor with a quick hitter. He's going to fire. Oh! He buries it! Oh boy, you talk about getting to a spot and getting a shot off in a hurry. Look where he starts that shot. Radford throws in. They get it to Taylor. He's going to fire. No. Taylor, the rebound back. The flick misses. One second. Race to that corner. Radford, the inbounder, looking to bounce. Garcia. Oh, got it! Like, like I mentioned, Spiro, whoever gets it, let her rip. The foul, fouls on personnel now are tough. Shed misfires. Watch out. Roberts, the oh, boy. same boy. Looked like he was out of bounds, maybe. Sharp from deep. Shed against a point guard who's a little taller than. Done on the launch. Whoa. Too much. Look who it is. It's Walker. What a big time rebound. 63 seconds. Oh. Taylor. 10 seconds to shoot, 35 left in overtime. Shed, the hop, the floater. No fire from the corner, the three. Hefner, no, Taylor lost it, and it is over. The Houston Cougars survive.